morning. Checking page here in the Com Phnom Thailand. Today's Sunday fun day. We're still here at this beautiful hotel in the Com Phnom. Spent two nights here. I'll leave a link to this place in the description box of the video. You just have to click the description and then all the information will pop up. But we're headed back home today. We gotta go, I think, do a little bit of shopping this morning before we head back uh, back to Tafanom. Pool's closed. It's, uh, I don't know. Let's go find out when the pool will be open. Maybe it's open, just the coffee thing is closed. I don't know. We should just do Thai style and just go in the pool anyway. <laughs> but it's in English. <laughs> we spend a lot of money to stay in your hotel. We expect to be able to enjoy the facilities. We want to get in the swimming pool by God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, she said, but now means open now, just the coffee place is closed, which is kind of what we were thinking, but we don't want to be rude. Mm. It's a it's a very salty pool, so I know they're not putting chlorine in it. Like <laughs> really salty. I put my camera in there and I come out white, like that salty. <laughs> Almost like an ocean. Yeah. Super. Wonderful. Seems like there's a lot of things right now in the world that's out of our control. We've all got to find a way to uh, <laughs> to make the best of it. There's some good news in Thailand yesterday. Well, not so much good news because I think they had the most amount of cases in one day yesterday. But the good news is, is that Russia, the Russian government has decided to step up and help the Thai government with the vaccine. So I think now because of the, the testing and they're realizing how many people actually do have COVID in Thailand, they're really pushing the vaccine, which they, they didn't really do that at first because they wanted to wait and see the outcome, right? They wanted to wait and make sure it was gonna be safe for their citizens. So I don't know if I can get angry for them and not, but it's really kind of slowing the progress of the inevitable, I think, in Thailand. The only way to get through this, I think, is to, to help with the elderly people and the people that have weak immune systems. So I think the only way is to get them the vaccination. I do still believe that the vaccination should be an option, not, not mandatory, because you could still carry the virus either way, no matter what, even if you had the virus, have the vaccine, uh, it's just a matter of how it affects you. So I think the week, you know, it should be available for them. And I think once that happens, when I say weak, I mean, you know, elderly and people that have underlying problems. And then I think we can carry on. I think we could start moving back to some normalcy, you know, because it's going to happen eventually. We can't just, we can't continue with the government shutdowns and lockdowns for a long period of time. It's just, it's not something that is working. It's not something that's going to get rid of it. But I think it's something that had to happen until they can have something like a, a vaccine. But for me, I really, I don't take vaccines for anything right now. Um, you know, if I get sick, I have insurance and, you know, I'll deal with it myself. But, you know, even if you have the vaccine, they say you could still get sick. So anyway, should still be a choice. But I just wanted to share that with you. Uh, had a great time here in Akom Panom can't do a lot of traveling right now can't you can but there's a lot of restrictions and rules like you have to have a lot of testing and you know if you get if you're on the road and you happen to get the virus then you have to stay in 
either a hospital or the temporary hospital that they've set up. You have to stay there for a couple of weeks uh, or until you test negative, I think. I'm not really sure how it works. I think it's two weeks. I don't know, but as a foreigner, most likely you have to pay for that. But, uh... <laughs> I think Mafia already called, and uh, we'll see what we gotta pick up for if we're having Sunday fun day tonight. We're allowed to have gatherings, well, I don't know of today, but it was no more than 50 people. You can drink at home, but no alcohol is being served at restaurants. Actually, you just, you know what, to be honest with you, I think a lot of them, you just have to be nice to them and they may put a beer in a coffee cup for you. Sometimes. <laughs> it helps if you speak Thai. Hey, sexy woman. What did your mom want? Oh, no, no. Yeah, but you have a present on I think Paige looks better a little. Pumpui nitnoi. <laughs> when I met her, she was like a stick girl. And then we started exercising a whole lot at the gym for like four years straight, and she was a beast. But I don't know. She looks comfortable now. <laughs> And so many options of places to stay here in the Compano, but not too many have a swimming pool. We're gonna go check out another resort on the way out of here that has a pool. I think it's like more of a homestay place. I don't know, but I see it a lot. It's been here a while. We'll go check it out on the way out. And then of course they have the, they have the new Fortune View down here that has a swimming pool, but it's been here quite a while too. But for some reason that didn't go down on the price um, for the hotels that much during this time like everybody else did but man there's like nobody actually they had 10 rooms last night here uh, which was they said okay but uh, I haven't seen anybody yet like we ate breakfast with nobody there this morning which is I like that <laughs> I'm not much of a people person anyway that's why I'm always talking into a camera <laughs> This has got to be the saltiest pool I've ever been in. I think they're putting more salt in there. Mm -hmm. But it's okay. We're leaving soon. <laughs> Paige, Paige just updated me on the insurance. It's a thousand baht for the COVID insurance inside Thailand mm -hmm. for anybody. But you, you got to make sure it covers Thailand. foreigners. But yeah, it only covers inside Thailand. Mm -hmm. And they have, yeah, different six, six they have different types though, like lower... She so said you have to be here in Thailand six months, have to have a current visa, of mm -hmm. course, a long-term visa. Yeah, six months, long-term working or And uh, you have to be in Thailand for at least six months before you can purchase it. And she thinks it's like a seven-day waiting period, yeah. what, you know, to make sure you don't have it. Mm -hmm. But uh, man, they're making good money on that deal because a lot of Thai people are buying that, a lot. Could you imagine that? A thousand baht for I don't know how many millions of Thai people when really there's only there's there's very few people in critical condition, very few, but they're probably making a ton of money on that deal <laughs> because it doesn't cost anything for them to go. When they're, now they're putting everybody in the hospital if they have it, so it's not costing them any money. You can play in so. but the cost of hospital. It's not like that. Mm -hmm. Maybe the government hospital only costs you uh, 500 baht a day, so yeah. that's all the insurance pays. Right. <laughs> anyway, just wanted to update you. I know you guys don't care about that. Would you we, like to be happy more? We, we have to go to Macro and get stuff for Mafia. We've, we've got our orders for this morning. How about a snack, huh?
Who is that? Knock knock. Okay, that's it. We're done. We'll leave so the sun's nice and bright now. As I'm getting dressed to go. <laughs> you guys need some rain, let me know. <laughs> Okay, we're out of here. Had a good time. During the week, you can stay in this room right now during this time for 20 US dollars a night. Good deal. Let's go to Macro. Hey, monkey. Beautiful clear sky. Macro, Macro. Let's see if we can see anything interesting in the frozen section. I don't know, a lot of times I have something new and interesting. This is not cheap, but it's quality. It's imported though. It's quality cheap. It's good for uh, a lot of things. Oh, check it out. Uh, it's called... Well, they got hash browns, but this is called mash. But, it's actually tater top. Tater top. I like tater tops. Interesting. I also found this is interesting. Look. It's a sour cream and onion. Look, I found mash. What is mash? I don't know, it's a tater tot, right? Look. That's a tater tot, right? I don't know what mash means. It's a mashed potato tater tot? I think so. Okay. <laughs> Got some better looking Thai German sausage. Huh. Would you care for a frozen pork penis? Huh? A frozen pork penis? Mm. This is the pork penis section. <laughs> uh, I'd like a pork penis on a stick, please. Yeah, that's so weird. Like, they just can't throw that part away? I give them some dignity. I guess they're either not selling these or they're still buying more. But they're not too bad, corn chips. And you got mashed potatoes. Yeah, mashed potatoes if you can't make those. Cherries. Mm -hmm. Every kind of jelly. Mm -hmm. At least they're not pretending to be full. You can actually see there's like a tiny bit. Why just make a like this big. I don't wanna. Oh, I think you're supposed to add the water to it. Oh. Or the milk or whatever. I'm thinking. Yeah, because it says shake. Are we going to shake the powder? Oh, yeah. They'll put some water. Oh. Uh, Until this. Yeah, what did you expect them to be exact? Somebody's just pouring it in there going, <laughs> okay, look, this one has like a tiny bit. Mm. Thailand. What is she selling? Can I have an energy drink? You want some cocoa puffs? What do you want to buy beer here? You got 29 more, 28 more minutes. Or a Fruit Loop. Look, Coco Checks. Mm. Milo. Swiss Coco Bits. I don't know. It's probably somebody's favorite. Or the small one. This is a small Fruit Loop. 
That's not bad. That's three dollars. Three US dollars for that. Yeah. Might as well get that. Because when you don't eat it, we can give them to the monk. <laughs> Instead of the ants getting them. Okay. Oatmeal. Quaker oats. Some more dog treats. Oh, over here. It's in the aisle that's closed. We'll go around, sneak around. It doesn't matter when you come to Macro, they're always running the forklifts and stocking stuff. Like, they can't do that at night or early. It's just always throughout the day, every time. I guess we're gonna have to come back. Maybe it's forklift training day. <laughs> I, see, I see Paige like walking down all the aisles. I'm over here checking out the girls. That looks interesting. The dog treats are not cheap. This is like six dollars for that. I think I'll get it. Whatever. Six bucks. We'll get the other thing too. I think we should get this for the truck. What is that? Spoon like that spoons and forks and all yeah, kind of stuff. Yeah, just get that and we throw it away. Like here. Like a wooden spoon or something. That's not a set right there. Like two any like a I think yeah. it's a spoon and fork in one. Well it works. Mm -hmm. It's biodegradable too, it's not plastic. They got any wooden cups? <laughs> a biodegradable, $180 gone. I mean, 180 days. Damn it, it might just disintegrate in our truck. Could be. Traveling cup. You gotta be careful. They gotta make sure that they're, because some of these cups are really inexpensive, but they're really flimsy. When you grab them, they just. <laughs> But they're full of liquid, so these are okay. A little bit more, like 20 baht more. There's a crap load of shower caps. <laughs> yeah, it's for a hotel. Mm -hmm. I'm buy it mm -hmm. it's saying, look, this is 200. The... I can get that online. The one with no, uh -uh. no plastic. It's cheap. We need a plastic a styrofoam cooler. All of a sudden, we got a basket full of stuff. <laughs> hmm. All of this waiting for beer. We don't have any room for beer now. Huh? <laughs> no room now. No. This guy's got our cart. Except for Chang. In case you're not interested in pig penis, they have tongue, cow tongue. If you want that? On sale section. Hey, they got Glade, Red Bull, Charcoal, yeah. Clean. You want some black tea? Mm. Hey, Snail White. You want to be Snail White? <laughs> Should that be Snow White or Snail White? <laughs> <laughs> Relax. Can make 
have cake. I have those. How come every time we come here, your mom always gets something for free over there and we don't? Mm -hmm. She hasn't taught you that skill yet? Hmm. Maybe the lady heard me talking. She told Paige to go to the premium counter. Maybe she's gonna get a gift. So she spent 3,800 baht. So it's only like $126, including a case of beer. What'd you get? What? <laughs> That's it? Yeah. Is hell, he... they could have just threw that at me and hit me in the back of the head with that. What the hell? Actually, I'll just carry that in my backpack when I bike ride. Maybe when I spend the night, I don't have enough clothes. I can wash them. Yay. Awesome gift. It wasn't even laundry detergent. It was fabric softener. Let's get some ice cream. Look, they got a small one. Well, they got that. Shake. You want that? You want shake? Yeah. You want ice cream? Yeah. I gotta get in the truck. Somebody's burning something like right here. <laughs> Sure it's a rice field huh this is that place with the swimming pool let's go check it out yeah. it says hotel mm -hmm. look they got a picture of beer Chongga. coffee beer mm -hmm. swimming pool parking and a hotel okay. yeah, it looks like nobody's here which is good pool is huge full of water looks a little on the green side <laughs> Yeah, I don't think know. they're open. Yeah, it's okay. It's yeah. a green. It looks it like is... you can fish in there. Yes, it's... They got pumps it. running, or maybe that's fish. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Is that fish in there or pump? Pump. It's like pretty cool little places to stay. Mm -hmm. But um, they just probably got to shock the hell out of it and bring mm -hmm. it back one day. home Sunday and this place is empty I'm telling you empty hey monkey I think our mashed potatoes are actually mashed potatoes they're, they're mashed okay yeah, maybe you have to mash them Exciting stuff at home, huh? Mm -hmm. We're having an exciting day today. Mm -hmm. What you watching? Mm -hmm. Anything new on the news? Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Trying to get the local update on what's happening in our province, which is uh, important to know. Pages on it. You're all over it. The current information. I'm gonna go cut my hair. Okay, okay here we go. You ready? We're gonna cut my hair right, right now. No, no, just kidding. Oh, I changed my shirt too. I cut my hair like this because uh, because I want to. I um, it's very hot and humid in Thailand, and this is easy to do. I bought some awesome cordless clippers on Lazada, and uh, man, it feels really good. Because after you take a shower, like 10 minutes later, you're sweating. So anyway, this is uh, either this or no hair is the best way to be in uh, in Thailand. Anyway, my choice. <laughs> well, here it is, Sunday dinner. Actually, it looks like it's not so much food this time, which is good. 
Everybody's on a diet. That's a, uh, it's like a scrambled egg with soy sauce. And that's that, uh, it's like a squash, kind of. Yeah, like a squash. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. This is the happiest woman I know. My kids. My kids. My kids. My kids. My kids. She doesn't think much. She doesn't have COVID. And she's no problem. Well, back home, Sunday fun day, and back to the end of the world conversations. Yeah. Maybe we'll go again soon. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's video. It's going to be some trying times here in the next weeks, maybe months in Thailand. Yeah. Um, anyway, we'll try to hang in there, try to stay positive, try to share some awesome videos, and uh, yeah, we'll see you guys on the next adventure. Bye.